That's part of the sheet that got left out. So there's the L. Next letter. Yeah. Okay. Tell me how to make it. I'm so excited about my new house. I love it, you know. Never want to go back to the projects. Never want to go back. This house, this house is a blessed house. And I always said, this is Terrell's house. It's Terrell's house. It's very strange to see your life story put on a movie screen or someone calls you and says on Channel 11 and you're like thinking, you know, what are people thinking? What are they really actually thinking? And you try to put yourself in everyone else's household to see what they're saying to each other. I think my biggest thing was I looked at so much older so worried and then when I look at my apartment how it didn't have anything in it and then I look how embarrassed Nicole was and never never ever knowing that that's the way she really felt I never knew that the whole experience over the five years in the beginning was very difficult I was trying to shield all my fears, all my problems, everything from the world, including from myself. And as we began to go further along into the filming, I realized that I couldn't hide it forever. And when you came up to shoot me in my class, that's when it all came out. Everyone wanted to know what was going on. And then that's when, you know, we began talking about it in religion class. And then that's when all the tears started from different classmates. And I've then I began to feel part of the world. I was glad to be feeling really. It made me feel like I was part of society, you know. When I look back into the film, I seen a street person. That's how I saw myself as being that I was not never going to amount to be anything, you know. So that's how I seen myself in the film. But when I got clean and sober, you know, I was like, man, I, I've seen a, a big difference. It brought back so many memories, you know, like the things that we didn't do, me and my brother didn't do, the things that we did do, the things that we laughed about, the things that we cried about. But to see my, my, my moms, my grandmother, and my auntie, and my cousin to, to just be so strong about it, you know, it helped me to be strong, to like accept it, you know. Once the film started coming out, I started seeing that there was more to life than just sitting around doing nothing. And in a sense, it gave me uh, confidence in myself. When I go around the country telling them people about the film, it makes me feel like I'm on top of the world, really, because um, some of the reactions that I have got from people is that it happened to me, too, but keep up the good work, you know. Don't worry about it. We all understand what you was going through because we've been there and we've done that, too. They let me know that I wasn't alone, that I wasn't by myself. After they got done watching the documentary, some people are in tears, others, you know, you see that, that look on their face like, okay, now I'm not alone. And to be able to open up to them and talk to them about my experiences lets them know that, you know, this is real, this is something that's real and I can't overcome it with help. But Nicole always knew where she was going she wasn't going to sell for anything less. So she went for what she wanted, and she wanted to be a teacher, and that's what she is today. Now, I'm going to give you a tricky one, Kevin. Can you spell enchilada? <laughs> Kevin's speaking. As I said, you'll see, um, you actually won't see that. That was not done for broadcast. Um, we've used it in selective settings after we show the actual documentary. 
Um, but you can re actually read about all that happened in Legacy, the Legacy campaign, in an evaluation that was done um, with Outreach Extensions, who you'll hear from in the next panel. So take a look at this, and because this is, I think, where foundations are, are, are going. We are, we are asking, because it's being demanded of us, for results. They want to know, it's not one family, but what can this one family represent? How can it become the face to a myriad of issues that we can then extract and deal with and work on? In the case of Legacy, there actually um, was legislation call legacy at the very end of all of this around grandparents taking housing issues, grandparents taking care of their kid, their grandkids. So um, what I, um, the bottom line, and at the end of the day, um, this could never have happened if Todd had not been willing to become a partner with the foundation. It would not have happened if he had not given, given of himself to work with the other foundations involved, um, the MacArthur Foundation, uh, the, Skil the um, uh, Kellogg Foundation was another major contributor, and with Outreach Extensions, who what did our outreach for this for the um, for the documentary. Uh, it takes a little bit of um, sort of swallowing ego. It takes a little bit of uh, a lot of time, actually, um, that's not necessarily compensated. But it, uh, and it takes a commitment to wanting your documentary to go beyond the broadcast. So I think I'm going to stop here. Um, you will hear the rest of the story in the next panel and um, from my colleagues. <laughs>